Hey guys, it is Danny, and I'm here with some updates on the tropics. And so guys, in this video, this is not a very detailed update, but I will be giving the necessary ones through this video. We have quite a bit to talk about, um, along, um, especially with our Invest 94L, which is highlighted in red, and also our Caribbean disturbance. There are also some changes. But before I go into the details with these tropical systems, please do subscribe if you haven't, and tap the bell so you know every time when I post a new video, because I will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right through the season and you can also follow me on instagram my weather account is weather girl danny and my personal account is danny henry official okay guys so we do have our two tropical systems here and so um actually first we really want to talk about our invest 94l because that at this time really has the potential to become a newly named storm by tomorrow and so right now at this time it is given a high 90 percent chance of tropical development through the next five days and so it is very likely as i said maybe by tomorrow or so this becomes maybe a subtropical depression or storm and it's likely that this will also become a hurricane and the potential is there for it to be a threat to bermuda because it's just going to be loitering there's going to be moving um it's going to be curving back out so we'll take a look at what the models are expecting with the potential track of it sh um shortly but there we have it on sunlight view we do have most of the shower and thunderstorm activity really going to the east of the center of the tropical system and so it's not very organized at this time but conditions will in fact remain favorable for this to really intensify during the next couple of days and so let's talk uh, um let's talk about our where this thing might go here so we have our different models here with the different tracks showing where the system might go and so this is going to be moving to the northwest and then making a turn out to the north and going out to the northeast and so guys if you're in bermuda you might be affected by this potential tropical system here most likely it will even become a hurricane now let's go to what our models are expected in terms of intensity and so at this time, all of our malls agree that this will definitely become a named storm. We have a lot, over half of our malls agreeing that this will become a hurricane. And we have two at this time expecting that it will achieve Category 2 status. And so guys, fortunately, this is going to be out in the Atlantic, not going to be posing a threat to multiple areas, um, at least an imminent threat. But again, if you're in Bermuda, you really want to be cautious because the potential is there for you to be affected by what could be hurricane epsilon and now let us talk about that caribbean disturbance so again that low pressure center has not yet been identified still then the chance actually lower to 20 percent because it has been stagnant at 30 percent for quite a while and so now we have it to be in at 20 percent and so this is going to be moving over the northwestern caribbean and the potential is there for it to go anywhere within that um wide area there where the cone is showing and so we might have it curving over into the central american countries and going over in the eastern pacific it could go in the gulf of mexico and the chance is still there that it could even make landfall along the florida panhandle so again guys the chances are there for this to become something significant um but we really have to watch it during the next couple of days again the chance is lowered by 10 percent but the possibility is still there and so guys that is really it for this update and so if you found this video to be pretty informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share thoughts in the comments or ask questions and remember to always be otherwise and i'll keep giving updates as time goes by